Now it's, uh, it, it's happened in a, in a sordid, morbid attempt to deflect from some atrocious scandals and mismanagement. The Liberal government of Ontario has told the Catholic school system that it has to do what it's told, not be Catholic, and embrace the lie, yes, the lie, that gay kids are perennial victims of bullying. Now be warned, whenever you hear these numbers about gay suicide and so on, ask where they come from. Usually they're totally unreliable, and some of those quoted uh, these days in Canada are from, this is important, EGAL, Equality for Gays and Lesbians Everywhere. This is a group whose leader once told me personally churches should lose all tax exemption if they refuse to marry gay people. When I, I asked him about the outreach to the, the poor and the homeless being damaged by this, he just shrugged. Now, the education minister involved in this case is, <laughs> oh, golly, <laughs> Lauren Broughton. Now, she herself has been involved in a, a scandal or two, and she's in her current job after serving as Premier Dalton McGuinty's assistant at Queen's Park. Uh, just let me uh, say this to you. Do you remember she wanted to build a, a four-vehicle garage at her home? Two-story monstrosity. It didn't get through in the end. She was environment minister at the time. So she buggered up environment with her hypocrisy. She's doing the same with education. She used to be on, on my, my old TV show. Believe me, uh, intellectual giant, she ain't. Now, the whole gay bullying issue is a digression. And even the gay community isn't particularly active around it. People are losing their jobs in Ontario. They're dying, waiting for hospital beds in Ontario. But the government puts its energies into refusing to compromise an inch over bullying Catholic schools. It's an election ploy. And you know what? It may well work. Look, pluralism is messy. Coexistence is curved rather than angular. Democracy drenched in compromise and, and the, the blurring of previously firm, hard lines. If you want absolute political or moral victory, well then, I don't know, work towards a dictatorship or a theocracy. But it's such an anti-democratic state that the Liberals seem intent on creating. Bullying? Teachers have been trying to stop bullying since teaching and bullying began. In this specific case, far too much time has been devoted to the bullying of gay kids, largely because, and you know this, the gay community has an emotional hold over our culture and our politicians right now. There is no doubt that gay people have often been bullied in the past, that being gay was sometimes a living hell. And that, and this is important, no child, no person should be made to feel dirty, wrong, unloved, merely because of their sexuality. But, I mean, come on, let's be serious here. Urban North America has become extremely gay-friendly in recent years, to the point where, in some schools, it is even a fashion statement to, to come out. And you get silly girls who, who regard having a, a gay friend as the ultimate fashion accessory. Teachers rush to the defense, and even uh, the protection even, and the affirmation of gay kids and of homosexuality. Gay teachers often push a radical agenda. Students who, from a, a Christian or a Muslim perspective, have any sort of objections to the homosexual lifestyle are made to feel eccentric, evil, repugnant. They're the victims. Young people are bullied for all sorts of reasons, being fat, thin, stupid, clever, white, black, pretty much anything. But remember, fat kids are not thrown out of their home for being fat. Stupid kids not told uh, by their parents that they're a living perversion. I understand that. But then again, thank God, that's incredibly rare for, for young gay people these days, and often the stuff of propaganda. Mind you, so are the alleged bullying and even suicide figures were given. Did you know it's straight, heterosexual girls who make up the majority of teen suicides? And some of the alleged gay suicides have in fact been caused by depression and have had nothing to do with sexual orientation. So it's incredibly difficult to have an open, civilized, informed discussion about all this. If you object to some aspect of what is being proposed, you're instantly a homophobe. But the Ontario government, led by a deeply dishonest and shallow man who pretends to be Catholic, has now ordered Catholic schools to allow gay straight alliances. But look, this is really pretty basic stuff. The alternative to gay bullying is not a gay straight alliance <laughs> promoting whatever you've heard to the contrary, promoting homosexuality. No, the alternative to gay bullying is to not gay bully. It's wrong. But while gay kids have a perfect right not to be bullied, Catholic schools have a perfect right to be Catholic. And Catholicism cannot, will not affirm homosexuality. As I said earlier, pluralism is messy, and if one side is determined to smash the other into oblivion, it won't work. Now, which group is currently so triumphalist and so intolerant? 
must be serious here. Ain't the Catholics, is it? 